What up, people? This is Vigilante for Two Minutes and Some Change. This is 2MASC. Then you know it's me, the original Two Minutes. Make sure you check them out on Facebook, 2MASC, and check what we got going. I can't stand Kid Rock. Fuck you. Slap piss out you if I saw you. Can't stand this guy. Forgive my language. Forgive my language. But for him to say F Kaepernick to his all pretty much white audience, you are a wannabe kid and play. People need to Google Kid Rock and see what he tried to be back in the days. Looking like kid and play. This is what the culture vultures do once they make it. That's a big difference between a um, white MC and a black MC. And the reason why is that they can go back to being rock and roll and get a guitar in their hands, play a little music, and their career can, can continue. While black MCs have a certain certain age group have a hard time coming out there and uh, to continue to perform, mainly because how we do our older artists. That's the main reason. But let's get back to this 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 this, this prick, this kid rock. Saying F Kappa, I mean uh, Kaepernick. So you saying F Alton Sterling? You saying F Philando? That's what you saying? You saying uh, F Sandra Bland to uh, for all the things that he's kneeling for, for, that he's kneeling for. You got a nerve at your concert to say that somebody should have snatched your skinny ass off the stage and and beat the hell out you. Now I hate them, and if you know what, damn you. I can't stand Kid Rock. I cannot stand that guy. So on face to face, I will slap fire out you. I slap fire out you. Because you're the epitome of a culture vulture that mad because you couldn't make it in hip hop that way. You found you a niche and you're going to become senator in Michigan. You got a chance to do that because they backing you. Man, I tell you, man, United States is becoming a third world country, man, full of racist, full of racist people that's going to be in power position. Black people, you have to wake up, man. There's some good people out there, but people like this guy right here, Kid Rock, those are the ones you have to watch out for because they come, want to show, want to team up with Run DMC and just take, take, take from the culture. But at the end of the day, they show their true colors. That's why you have to watch people when they come in, whether it be R&B, you demand something. I don't care if they don't, they're not my color. You demand something if you're taking, the, you're taking what our, our genre are giving you, whether it be Robin Thicke, Justin Timberlake, that's it. No fly zone. You better speak out. But a person like Kid Rock, I can't stand. I don't see how any other black artist will even mingle with this dude or even talk with this dude. I've seen this dudes in movies and everything else. Um, and and, and you, get, you keep running after this guy. I do not understand it. I do not understand it. He's a culture vulture. And he showed his true colors a long time ago. This ain't the first time. Same thing he had, had some slick stuff to say about Beyonce. Boy, I got a slap for you. Ooh, if I saw y'all slap you. I don't care. I would slap hell out you. I'm sorry. I take the L for that one. It's been vigilating for two minutes and some change. I went over, but that was the change. Culture Vulture.